So let's get started on our tidbit for today. Before I read you the scripture, I, I want you to realize what I'm about to share with you is something that's been happening for centuries and ages on end. And those who are here are going to be excited that you go, oh yeah, I know I'm supposed to do that. And uh, objectively is when you grasp on to what's being spoken and what's being said here and what you hear in the scripture, it will change your life. How many want to have instantaneous favor? Amen. Yes. Instantaneous favor. And this scripture is going to bring it out. But there's some little innuendos we got to fix on that. So let me read you the scripture. You all ready for it? Ready. All right. We're going to go to Proverbs chapter 18. And we're going to read verse 16. As you're looking for it, let me know when you're there. Now the Holy Spirit gave this to me this morning before I woke. And he put this in me so it's my opportunity to preach to you what the Holy Spirit put in my heart how many are glad to hear this in Proverbs 18 verse 16 a man's gift maketh room for him and bringeth him before great men a man's gift maketh room for him now the Holy Spirit expounded on this scripture for me this morning to grasp onto it to share with you so you're you're about to hear some awesome magnificent words from the Spirit of God in Jesus name Amen. now as as I was laying there hearing the Lord share with me the gift makes room for him provided it's given appropriately provided that you don't go up to a person and say here that isn't the way to give a gift here that's not a way to give a gift. The gift, in years growing up, I remember my mother always telling us, well, when a new neighbor comes in, we always bake a pie and go over and introduce ourselves and we give them a pie, right? The gift makes room for her, for that person to receive it. Now, there's two sides to this. It's how you present. It's called presentation on the gift. Here you go. That's a gift I got for you. That's not quite a real good presentation. Would you call that just like this throwing it in their lap? The objective is how much does that gift mean to you as much as it will mean to the person giving it, uh, receiving it from you. So as you take the gift, you have taken time to look it over, pray over it, see that it's a value and it's something very precious to you and you know that this person would enjoy it as much as you would. So you say, I've, I've come here with this gift just for you. And the presentation of it is really cool. Now, if you want instantaneous success of favor from God, it's not only presentation, but it's receiving that gift as well. Oh, you shouldn't have. You just blew them right out of the water. You don't accept their gift, but you say it like that. Or, is that it? See, you, you ruin it for both sides. So presentation puts the person in receiving mode as well as the giving mode. So how many know that when you give a gift, it does make room for you, but it also makes instantaneous a favor for you. Now, you're not doing it to, to promote yourself. You're doing it as unto the Lord. And when you present somebody with a gift, it shows them that you care. It shows that that person's interested in you and the things you do. So it's not only just on meeting a person for the first time, but there are people into this world that don't bring gifts at all to anybody for any personal reason because they're selfish. And the Holy Spirit was showing me this morning that, you know, this is something that needs to be done on an everyday basis. How you give yourself, how you give a smile, how you give an actual gift of, of a value. And he says, I gave my son I gave gifts to men. I gave the Holy Spirit as a gift. I have given to you. And he presented it properly. But we sometimes take these gifts for granted. And we need to turn us around and say, thank you, Lord. Appreciate it. I received that gift. We can do it like that. But we've got to learn how to say thank you to the person who brings it to us. Amen. Amen. And all the people of God said, yes. amen.